Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. This is part 2 of our Power App Component Framework series. In this video, I will cover setting up your development environment. This is the complete step. I have mentioned all the tooling uh, chain which is required. I have mentioned in the slides. We will go through all the steps one by one. And if you will follow all these steps, I am sure you will be able to set up your development environment. And then in the next video, we will create a first project. So let's get started. As a first step, uh, it is mentioned over here for ID use Visual Studio Code. So these days, uh, Visual Studio Code is one of the most popular uh, ID and I will recommend the same. To install Visual Studio Code, what you can do, simply type Visual Studio Code. If it is not already downloaded in your machine, you can click on download. And from here, based on your operating system, you can choose. If it is window, from here you can select the, based on the, if it is 34 bit or 64 bit, you can select your installer and you can install it in your machine. In my machine, it is already installed. So first step is you have to install the Visual Studio code. Before I proceed to the next steps, I would like to highlight that all the links which I will be using for installing all this tool chain, I have already added in the description box below. So you can even directly click on that and you can download it instead of, you know, Googling and uh, finding the exact links. So just for your help, I have done that already. Next is we need Node.js similar to SharePoint framework for uh, development in PCF. We also need Node.js for Node.js. Uh, it supports LTS version, long term support version. So to install the Node.js, I have uh, provided the link in the description box below, but I will show you what you can do. Go to again, go to your browser from there, from there type Node.js version, Node.js download. It will take you to the official Node.js site. From here, you can download the LTS long term support version. There are two versions LTS, which is 18.16, and there is another tab called current, which is the 20.2. But your PC will support the LTS version. So from here, you can go to the window installer again based on your operating system and select the 32 bit or 62 64 bit file once you will click on it or uh, your download will automatically get started and then you can without you know checking anything just click on next and simply download if you have any doubt do not I, again i will say do not check or uncheck anything in the installer simply click on next 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 and your installation will get completed Again, uh, another important uh, point over here is if you will choose this LTS version that is 18.16, this will work. But now suppose you are also working in SharePoint framework parallelly. I just checked the Microsoft documentation and over there it is mentioned that for SharePoint framework that is the latest version that is 1.17. It is supported with node 16.13 to node 16.18. So what we can do, we can find a middle ground over here. We can download node, uh, any node version between 16 to 18. That will support both. Uh, no need to get confused over here. If you are only interested or if you have only plans to work on PCF, there is no scope of SPFX even in future or there are no SPFX project in your machine. Just forget everything. Come over here, click on this 18.16 version download. But if you are also working on SPFX, so what I would say, download the node 16.18 version or anything between node 16.13 to 18 that will support both SPFX as well as PCF. So what you can do, you can type download node.js 16.18 and from here, once you will click on it, this is the 64 bit version dot MSI, your download will get started. This is simple link for dot 16.18 is present in the description box below. Next is install dotnet framework in the bracket i have mentioned as optional so for now i will skip let's see why i mentioned it this as optional we will see but as a next step now these two are done these two are simple but as a next step we need build tools for visual studio now this is really important because a while we will you know create a package for this pcf we would be running one command called ms build and for that we need this build tools for visual studios what you can do, there are two ways. What I will recommend, directly go to this link which is mentioned in my description box. That is one way. 
otherwise what you can do let me again go to go to my browser first i will show you over here what you can do let, uh, let me type pcf component framework i will go to the official microsoft documentation and over there under tutorials create your first component somewhere it is mentioned over here for build tools okay what you can do come over here under this build tools for visual studio 22 just click on it and you can download it from here directly that is one step i have mentioned this link in the description box below or otherwise what you can do download visual studio 2019 which i have mentioned in my slide and once you will download and once you will uh, you know start the installation process at a minimum just select build tools for visual studio 2019 that will also uh, you know do the installation so just you know based on the feasibility check which uh, you have to do a little bit at your end based on that you can install this uh, build tools for visual studio and, and you know this is really important once you are done more, uh, another next important step is you have to set your environment variables this i have done at my end so what you can do how you can do that go to your start button and type environment variables you will uh, come across this edit the system environment variables click on it then what you have to do just copy this path c program files microsoft visual studio 2019 build tools so in your case there would be a path for build tools ms build current till bin you have to copy if you want to see i can even show you if i come over here c drive program file 86 microsoft visual studio let me just cross check the path Yes, Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 build tools then MS build or I think build tools MS build current and bin. So you have to copy this path and go to your environment variables and you have to update both the variables both user as well as the system. Click on this environment variable I said click on environment variables over here this is the system variable this is the user variable over here just go to path edit and click on new and just copy this path over here format is already mentioned so i will uh, not edit again you could see it is already mentioned similarly click on this system variable select path click on edit new copy paste that's it and once this is done you will click on OK. OK, that's it. So you have to update the environment variable with your path of the build tools where it will get installed. So till now what we have done, we have installed the Visual Studio Code uh, IDE. Then we have installed the Node.js version. Again, you might you may install 16.18 or the latest LTS version that is 18. something. Once this is done, these two are done. You have to install the build tools. Click on the link below directly, no need to do anything, install it and then update the environment variable. With this we have, you know, come to the last step. Now we need this Microsoft Power Apps CLI. This is command line interface because we would be running some commands to create our project. And so for that we need to install this Microsoft Power Apps CLI. So what we can do, again I have uh, attached this link directly in the description box below because if i right click over here and i say uh, open hyperlink this will directly give me this download file and you can directly download this cli and install nothing you have to do this again i have added this link in the description box below but if you know i always try to show you instead of directly giving the shortcuts i always try to show you the you know exact path how you can learn other things also so if i try to google microsoft power apps cli download what i will get see i will reach to this link but i'll show you directly how you can do that download microsoft power apps cli so i will show you both the ways if you uh, want to do it directly just go to my description box all the links are in sequence just download everything 
If you will scroll down over there, there are two options: install Power App, you know, Power Platform CLI for VS Code. This we will see, or for Windows. First, let's see how you can do it for uh, Visual Studio Code. Go to your Visual Studio Code. So my Visual Studio is open now. What I will do? I will go to the extension. So go to the extensions icon from the left. This is the extension icon, and over here in the marketplace, search Power Platform CLI. and you have to install the extension it is loading it will take some time power platform cli see power platform tools just click on it in my case again it is already installed so you have to install this power platform tools for visual studio code in case we are running the commands from the visual studio terminal so we have to install it if you are if we need this power platform cli for windows what we need to do is in this case we first of all we need this dotnet framework 4.6.2 this link is present again in the description box below just download it and after that what you can do you can install this uh, power platform cli for windows if i'll click on this link there are two ways either through this command but i would you know prefer the other way directly clicking on this link again this link is also present in the description box so what i have done for your convenience i have you know added all the links in the description box in sequence so you need not to do you know any extra efforts and for your understanding i have explained you everything how i have reached to these links so i have given you both the paths now just to before before i close this video i will reiterate everything for you what we have done so far and why we need all this tooling we need this visual studio code because we need one code editor to write our code so we will be using visual studio code for this pcf it's based on the node js or the development so for that we will install the node js lts version if you are also you know working with spfx so i will recommend to install 16.18 version next is install the build tools to install the build tools we have like a link directly just click on that link and install the visual studio build tools next is we need to install the uh, microsoft power apps cli to run all the power apps uh, component framework commands for that there are two ways install it through visual studio code if in case we are using the visual studio terminal and if we need need it for windows first of all click on And you know, install this .NET framework, and once you are done with the framework, then directly install this CLI for through this link. So this is the uh, PCF tooling which is required. If you will follow all the steps one by one, I think you will you will be able to set up your development environment. Now each and every machine is different. In my in my case, everything is working right now. I have already set up my development environment. there is a possibility even after following all these links you might be facing uh, you know one or two errors so i will say do not panic but try to resolve those issues by googling them because that you know those would be very minute issue not a major one because all the major things i have covered 99% it should work in case 1% your development environment you are facing some issues try to fix it else reach out to me through youtube comments i will try to help you out so guys that's it for today's video in my next video i will cover how we can create a first project so before this it is very important to set up your development environment guys thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to get notification for our upcoming videos you can reach out to us through our official email id and youtube comments you can follow this group on facebook and also you can follow me on twitter to get all the updates from the o365 world till our next video much love keep learning thank you